What's up everyone, Brad here with the Money Dad channel. In this video, I am going to go over all of the airline stocks in the stock market, well, the big ones at least, because I'm looking at the stock charts for these airline stocks and a lot of them are looking very good right about now. So I uh, wanna just kinda group them all into this one video, go over a bunch of them in this video, go over uh, you know, the technical analysis, looking at the charts, the, uh, the patterns that are forming on them or have formed and played out already, some of them that are uh, yet to play out and I think there's a lot of profit potential in those chart patterns. Uh, some of the ratings that TradingView and Bar Chart are giving us on these stocks and then I'm gonna let you guys know which one I think is the best stock to invest in for at least for 2021. Um, and then I'll also let you guys know what is the least uh, risky way to play the airline industry if you want to get into um, this industry as an investment for 2021. So all of that said, guys, not a financial advisor. Uh, this is just my opinion. This is for entertainment purposes only. Make sure you're doing your own research and due diligence out there before you uh, decide to invest in uh, the airline stocks. Uh, make sure you are not investing in these stocks based solely on this video alone because I am not a financial advisor. Okay, so let's jump into these stocks. So I've got Jets pulled up in TradingView. This is TradingView.com. It's just uh, one of the tools out there that I use to look at uh, charts. Okay, so Jets is an ETF, an exchange traded fund. It's basically a basket of stocks. It's got a bunch of different stocks in one, right? So this is the ticker is JETS, um, and it's got all of the airline stocks in it. So if you're looking to invest in the airlines and you don't know which one or you don't care which one, you just want to be in airline stocks, this is one way to do it. Uh, this is a good way to kind of look at the airline industry as a whole. Uh, if you want to look at one chart to kind of rule them all, you know, um, if you don't want to look at American Airlines stock chart or Delta or United because you want to get an overall picture of the entire industry, this is a good way to look at the chart of the entire industry. Okay, so you can see prior to uh, the March 2020 crash from the pandemic, we were way up here in that $31 range on jets anyway. Then we have this crash really bottomed out. We chopped around for a while. Uh, and then we've been going up since then. The entire airline industry, right? This, this is jets. This is all of the airline stocks all in one. The entire airline industry has been going up since this uh, the last bottoming out in May of 2020. So about for 10 months now at the time of this recording, right? We're in March of 2021 right now, or towards the end of March. Uh, this, the airline industry has just been going up and up and up, right? We bottomed out at $11-ish, that 11 and $12 range, and now we're sitting at $26.50. So we're getting back up towards those highs, uh, those pre-pandemic highs, but we still got a ways to go, right? We're at $26.50, whereas before the pandemic, we were sitting in that eh, about $32. So still some upside here to go to get back to the that pre-pandemic level. Uh, and I think we will get there in 2021 and, and then some, I think we'll kind of blow through that as uh, people start to come out of, um, you know, quarantine and, and things like that, that, uh, that the pandemic was, was pushing on us. Uh, you know, people did not want to fly, didn't want to travel, couldn't travel in a lot of cases, um, you know, out of safety precautions and things like that. So uh, as we come out of the pandemic, uh, this is kind of a post-pandemic play, right? It absolutely is, actually. Um, you know, the further we get away from this pandemic, the better the airline stocks look. So I do think that uh, airlines are just going to keep going up in 2021 and, and beyond. Um, so Jets is a good way to look at the overall industry there, all right? Uh, and you can see TradingView, by the way. Their technical rating is a buy rating and we can pull up jets over at bar chart to see how they feel about it as well although they might not give us a rating because it's an etf but let's check okay so they do uh they give us a strong buy rating an 80 percent buy rating so looking good over there at bar chart and at trading view from the technical rating perspective on jets so that is a uh, great to see um, the trend line here looks very good for the entire industry as a whole, right? We're going from the bottom left of the screen to the top right of the screen. You like to see that. Uh, a series of higher lows, 
right? Higher low right here, a higher low, a higher low. I mean, it just looks really good. It's a good looking chart. Not a whole lot to to uh, hate on this chart right here. So, but that is not a specific airline, right? We want to get into specific airlines. Let's talk about. Um, let's just go right down this list. I have all these airlines right here. Uh, they are in market cap order. So the largest cap airline. Believe it or not, is Southwest. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I thought it would have been, you know, Delta or United or American Airlines. Um, but Southwest at $35 billion is the largest market cap airline. Isn't that a, that's something, huh? Um, kind of surprised me when I, when I saw that. Anyway, let's look at this chart real quick. You can see where we're sitting is higher than where we were pre-pandemic. So we have already passed the pre-pandemic highs. Uh, so that's a very good sign. We've gone past it, went right through it really. You can see back in February, we got up to those highs and we backed off a little bit. It looked like uh, it acted as resistance, right? Because we backed off a little bit, but then came right back and passed it. Uh, we, are, we have been chopping around a little bit over the last few weeks, but the, the entire stock market has, right? Uh, but this, action right here looks a lot better than the overall stock market over this time frame. Um, so airline stocks in general have done pretty well over the last few weeks while the entire stock market has been selling off. And uh, Southwest is no exception. So uh, I don't see a chart pattern on this particular chart, but I will say that this chart just looks fantastic. Just like the, uh, the Jets ETF was showing us um, it's just a nice uptrend, a series of higher lows. Uh, you know, you love to see that. So let's see what uh, TradingView has for a technical rating. They have a strong buy based on the technicals there at uh, TradingView. Let's see what bar chart thinks about Southwest. The stock ticker is LUV, by the way. I don't think I said that yet. They have a 100% strong buy rating. Uh, on Southwest. So they love this stock and TradingView loves this stock as well. So good to see there for Southwest. So Southwest looks really good, guys. They are past the pre-pandemic highs. Uh, I think they're going a lot higher from here. I don't have a particular price target on this, but the chart just looks great. and It looks like a good investment for, for 2021. Let's move on to the next largest market cap, and that is Delta. Delta Airlines is a Let's see a $30 billion market cap. So pretty close to Southwest, uh, but about a $5 billion difference there. So um, TradingView has a buy rating based on the technicals. And let's see what bar chart has. DAL is the stock ticker, punch that in, and we get a 80% strong buy rating from bar chart. So uh, another good rating there from uh, both of those companies there. You can see that we were tracking on this channel a bull flag that did play out to the upside. So that uh, is nice to see that that bull flag played out uh, all the way up almost exactly to the point where uh, we called it. And it's been chopping a little bit lower since then, but I do think that there is still plenty of room to run uh, for this stock. Uh, the RSI is oversold. By the way, it was also oversold on Southwest. I didn't mention that, but down here, you can see these two lines are underneath the colored area or just coming up into it. That means that it's oversold. That means that there should be some buying uh, pressure coming in uh, soon. So that's good to see. Uh, you always want, you know, if it's, if you see oversold on the RSI, that almost always tells you, hey, we're, we should start to see some buying pressure on whatever stock you're looking at. So uh, good sign there for the short term, but uh, another good looking chart for the long term as well. I mean, all these charts are probably going to look similar. You can see that you have just a series of uh, lower highs, right? Here's your low. This, this low right here is much higher than that one. This low right here is much higher than that one and so forth, right? So you just have this nice uptrend uh, trend line right here to connect the, the floor, all of the lows. That's your floor. It should be really strong support for these stocks going forward as we connect these, these lower, uh, these higher lows, excuse me. So nice bull flag that played out there. And uh, I don't see another chart pattern on this one other than I, I would like to mention, you know, we still have a ways to go before we reach those pre-pandemic 
highs on this chart. It looks like we were in that $59 to $60 range pre-pandemic, and we're currently at $47. So a uh, little ways to go until we get there. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that area acts as resistance when we do get there, or if we just cut right through uh, like a knife going through butter and uh, continue to head higher from there. I think we'll see a little bit of resistance. That, that would be typical. I, I would not be surprised. I, I'm almost expecting it. So, um, you know, I wouldn't get too worried if if once we get up to that level, we chop around for a little while before breaking through. Uh, okay, so that's what I've got for uh, Delta Airlines, another just great looking stock chart. Uh, and, and trading view and bar chart agreed with me on on the uh, rating there okay so united airlines is the next one in order of market cap this is a uh, 17 18 billion dollar market cap uh, so what do we have from trading view a buy rating on the technicals what do we have at bar chart stock ticker is ual punch it into bar chart see what we get there a 100% strong buy rating from bar chart. So uh, really good look there. Uh, you know, we have two strong buy ratings, or I'm sorry, we have a strong buy rating from bar chart, and then we have a buy rating from TradingView, but uh, looking really good. And there is a chart pattern on this one. Uh, this one looks really good to me because not only do we have a lot of upside to go before we get to those pre-pandemic highs in that 90, well, Let's see, they were, it was really at that $95 range, so ton of room, right? We're sitting at $56 right now, so ton of room to run uh, before we get to those pre-pandemic highs. But we also have what looks like a cup and handle playing out here. Uh, so the idea here is that you have a bull run coming up into this cup, and you see this volume creates the wall of the cup. That's You like to see that. Uh, you have a cup right here, you have a handle for the cup, it, it's like a like a ladle, think of it like a ladle guys. Um, the cup of a ladle, the handle of the ladle comes up through the lid, sometimes it comes back and retests that, that lid, which it's doing, and then it should bounce off of that and head to the upside, and you get your handle for the, for the cup and handle. Okay, so that's the idea there. Um, Will it play out? Well, I mean, this is a chart pattern that has a pretty good history of, uh, of success rate. So uh, we like to believe, uh, you know, there's a pretty good probability that's gonna play out. So I'm gonna go with the probabilities here. Let's uh, see how deep this cup is because that will tell us the kind of upside that we have on here, $19.60 of depth on that cup. So you take that $19.60 and you measure it from the lid. Once we retest it, Right there, you get $19.60 of upside. So this uh, cup and handle right here is projecting an upside target of $72 on United Airlines. And we're currently sitting at 56. So really good look there. That's $16 of upside on a $56 uh, stock. So, I mean, you're looking at plenty of profits there. And you don't have to make this trade. You know, this, this is a short term or short to medium term chart setup, but you know, if you're just long as a, as a long-term investment on this stock, then yeah, you like to see stuff like this, but it's not a big deal because you're, you're a long-term investor anyway. So you can absolutely trade this for, for this breakout to that $72 range and take your profits and run on to the next stock. You can do that. Uh, this looks like a good setup opportunity. Actually, we're getting very close to um, our entry point. I would wait for a couple more days to confirm that we are heading back up, and then I'd probably get in and target $72. Uh, but, you know, this is a good setup for a trade, but also just looks like a great chart for a long-term investment, at least for 2021. Uh, and I'm probably going to be saying that about all of these airline stocks okay so that's what i've got for united airlines i see pretty good profit potential in the short and long term for united airlines let's move on to the next highest market cap and that is american airlines sitting at 14 and a half billion dollars right so the stock price is currently at 22 dollars and 76 cents uh pre-pandemic high of 30 dollars in that 30 dollar range maybe 31 somewhere in there so still you know a good chunk uh, maybe 30% or so uh, to go for before we hit those pre-pandemic highs. 
Um, and this is a massive cup and handle on this chart, guys. Uh, but before we get into that, let's look at the ratings from bar chart and TradingView. So TradingView has a buy rating based on the technicals. Let's punch in American Airlines over at bar chart and see what they give us. The stock ticker is AAL. Let's see what their rating is. 80% buy rating. It is a strong buy rating. Great. Uh, so TradingView and bar chart both like this stock. Um, no surprise there as I, I think it's going to be similar for most of these airlines, if not all. So let's look at this massive cup and handle guys. This one is not a super clean looking cup and handle. Um, so I will caveat this uh, price projection with that. Um, this wall right here, the, the beginning of the cup was very extreme, very quick. I mean, it took two days to get there um, on big volume. So that is good. But I mean, it was just a massive move over two days. And then we create this cup. You've got this wave in the middle of the cup. That's a little weird. Uh, and then you get your, the wall, the other side of your cup right here. It's, it's on big volume. So that's good. But another very quick move, right? We're talking about like a one day all the way up there and then it backed off. So you're, it, we create our handle very quickly. We come back down and it takes like a day and a half or two days to come down to reach our handle um, low. And then we head up from there. So not the greatest looking cup, but we can still project a price target with, I would caveat uh, a lesser probability of hitting that price target. Still could absolutely hit that price target. Um, but I would say this one, this trade would be a little bit more risky. So just to reiterate, this is the cup that we're looking at right here. Here's your handle. And then we head up, break through the lid, come back, retest the lid, and then head to the upside. Boom. Uh, so that is the idea with the cup and handle pattern. So let's get a price target for American Airlines, this, this cup and handle pattern on American Airlines. All right, so let's measure this the depth of this lid or the depth of this lid, the depth of this cup is about $11 and 50 cents. Okay. So we got 1150 for our depth. So we're going to take that 1150 and measure it to the upside from the retest of the lid line over here. Okay. So let's take $11 and 50 cents and add it right here. And you get a price target of about $33, $33.15 is your price target. And that's extremely significant because we're currently sitting at $22.76. And that $33 gets us over the pre-pandemic high of 30 to $31. It's not the all-time high, as you can see, we were coming down before the pandemic, but it gets us over that uh, high that we hit right before the pandemic crash. So pretty significant uh, upside there on American Airlines, according to that cup and handle pattern. And if we get there, it gets us over those pre-pandemic highs, which is a fantastic uh, psychological level, you know, kind of a line in the sand, like, hey, once we get over this, uh, you know, feel a lot better about, you know, this, this industry going forward kind of thing, or this company going forward. You know, we're back to where we were, uh, prior to the pandemic. So, so now everything is okay. Kind of thing. It's just a psychological thing, but psychology matters in the stock market. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So let's move into the, uh, next company that we have on the list. What is the next one? It's going to be JetBlue. JetBlue has a market cap of $6 billion and trading view has a buy rating based on the technicals. And let's look at bar chart. The stock ticker is JBLU. Let's pull this up. They've got an 80% strong buy rating on JetBlue. So looking good there. Now, what's going on on this chart? Well, RSI is oversold just like uh, all the other ones. So good to see there. You can see we got up to the pre-pandemic high. Uh, we have basically double topped. So got to that all time, not all time high, but pre pandemic high hit it. And then we've backed off since there. So it acted as resistance. So you want to see this stock break above that 
level again. Um, you don't want to see it acting as resistance or acting as a ceiling. We need to break through that blue line and get it below us so that once it is below us, it's underneath, it's acting as support. Resistance turns into support once you get above it. Right? If we can get if we can if this stock can come up above this blue line, when it retraces or if it retraces, it it should find support there on that blue line. Because these these uh, resistance lines act as support once they're underneath you. Okay? So we need to break through that blue line uh, or else this, this chart just does not look as good going forward. I'm not saying I'm bearish on JetBlue because I'm bullish on the entire airline industry, at least for America anyway. I haven't looked at the international airline stocks a whole lot. Um, but this one is not the best looking chart among this group in my opinion. Again, I just showed you guys trading view and bar charts opinion uh, based on the technicals and they're both bullish on it. I'm just saying, you know, based on this trend line right here, this this resistance line right here doesn't look good to me until we get above that line. So that's how I feel about JetBlue. I think these other stocks that we've looked at so far look a lot better so far. Um, you do still have a very nice floor. This uh, this nice trend line of, of support since the pandemic lows looks very, very nice. Uh, but we need to break above that blue line before I really start to love this chart. All right, that's what I got for JetBlue. Let's move on to the next uh, airline stock. And that is Allegiant sitting at $4 billion in market cap. And uh, this stock has absolutely taken off. And I think it's because they are a super budget airline or travel company anyway you know and going through 2020 everybody's losing jobs uh there's not as much money to go around people are looking to cut costs any way they can if you have to travel you're gonna go with a cheaper airline which is Allegiant, right? Uh, so it makes sense that this company has done extremely well uh, through 2020. It's done, you know, compared to the other airlines. You can see uh, pre-pandemic, they were in that $175 range on the stock price. And now we're sitting at 247. So we've blown through that pre-pandemic high, whereas most of these stocks are still below it or right around it. Allegiant has blown through it. And you can see it did act as resistance back here a little bit, actually barely, barely acted as resistance, kind of just cut right through it. And then as soon as we got above that 175 range, it acted as support a lot right in this range between November and January. Uh, the pre-pandemic highs acted as support underneath this area. So very cool to see that work out. And then after it acted as support enough, it created a floor boom, take off, boom, take off, right? Airline stocks taken off, pun intended. Okay, so this one uh, looks absolutely fantastic. You know, um, TradingView has a buy rating on it. Let's see what bar chart has. The stock ticker is ALGT, Legiant. Let's pull it up, 80% buy rating from bar chart. Um, it is oversold, so the RSI looks good. I probably still like um you know delta and united and american a little bit more than this one just because of the chart pattern setting up and i think they have a ways to go uh to reach those pre-pandemic highs this one is so far above its pre-pandemic highs i do wonder if it is getting a little frothy um and it needs some time to breathe or, or cool down and it looks like it has been trading sideways for you know, a month or, or, or so now. Um, but I feel like I would be buying high on this one. And, and I said on the last one, you know, I do think that this industry is going to move. I, I'm bullish on the entire uh, industry as a whole. So I do think the whole industry is going to move up for the most part going forward in 2021. Um, but that doesn't mean that individual stocks can't perform better or worse than others, right? They, they all 
they're all unique in some way, even if they're in the same industry and the, and the industry likes to move together. But I mean, you can just look at today's price action right here to see, look, American Airlines is just doing a little bit worse than, than the others. And uh, Southwest stock ticker LUV is just doing fantastic at one and a half percent compared to the others, right? So um, they all are a little bit different, even if they're in the same industry, right? So I, uh, I think Allegiant has gone so high so quick that uh, I feel like I would be buying high if I got into it right now. Uh, but looks like a fantastic investment long term. If you want to be an investor long term in this, looks like a fantastic investment. It's a small uh, company, four billion market cap. Uh, so you could be getting in at a pretty low price here long term. I just think in the short term, uh, it probably uh, is probably going to underperform some of the other airlines. Okay, let's move on to the last one that I've got for you guys is Spirit Airlines. That is the smallest market cap on this list that I have. And that is a $3.6 billion airline. Trading view has a buy rating based on the technicals. Let's see what bar chart has. The stock ticker is SAVE. Let's see. Uh, bar chart has a 96% strong buy rating. So good look there from bar chart and trading view. So I think every single airline that i pulled up in this video bar chart and trading view both had at least a buy rating i don't think there was a single neutral or sell rating if i'm remembering that right so um, looking very good on the airline industry here um, now what about spirit in particular you've got this uh you know higher low trend line going on just like on all the other charts looks absolutely uh, fine. I do wonder if there is another cup and handle right here. You can see big run up right here to create the wall for that cup. You got this cup, you got a handle, you break through, come back, almost retested, and now we're heading up. We're chopping sideways a lot, but uh, I don't know that we've reached the full potential of this cup yet, so why don't we measure it out and find out? so that we can see if there's any um, you know, profit potential left in this setup. So go around to the middle of the cup, find the low, right about there, measure up to the lid, get $11 and call it 40 cents. Let's add that 11.40 to the breakout. Right about there, 11.40, it looks like we have already reached the yeah, over here, we already reached the uh, profit potential for this breakout. But I will say, even though we've already played out this cup and handle, we still have a very nice wedge pattern and then a breakout over that wedge. It looks fantastic. Uh, so good looking chart here. Uh, we have not reached those pre-pandemic highs yet. So I think uh, we have at least uh, that much room to go until we start to see some resistance there in that 44 to $45 range. Uh, we're currently sitting at 36.90, so still plenty of room to run on Spirit Airlines until we get to those pre-pandemic highs. All right, so I see, you know, I would like to see 44 to $45 here uh, pretty soon, and then uh, see if it acts as resistance. If we cut right through it, then that would look very good, uh, it, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it act as resistance like I was saying on some of the other stocks. All right, so that's what I've got for all of these airline stocks, guys. Quick uh, analysis on the charts for these uh, airline stocks. Now, which one do I like the most and which one do I think is the least risky? Well, uh, if you remember that chart setup for American Airlines, this massive cup and handle, right? There's a ton of potential here uh, for this breakout for this cup and handle, right? Um, and I think there was another one as well. Was it was it United that had, yeah, I think we had a $72 price target on United. Um, and we have a, I think it was $33 potential on American Airlines. So these cup and handle patterns have massive potential. Uh, and we've already seen that the cup and handles play out on a few of these other ones and price targets have been hit. Um, I think it was Spirit already hit its price target for the cup and handle. So uh, I would say United 
and American Airlines both have the most profit potential over the short to medium term because of these cup and handle patterns. They look fantastic. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if those profits from the handle playing out gets us uh, above these pre-pandemic highs or if we're going to kind of hit those pre those pre-pandemic highs and act as resistance. So I think that's the best play here going forward. Now, what's the re least risky play? Uh, I think that is going to be the first thing I showed you guys, and that was the uh, ETF jets because it diversifies your investment across all of the airline stocks. So you're not um, you're not invested in just one airline and risking your money based on you know if you get some bad news come out about that one particular company, it could ruin your investment. Uh, jets diversifies your money across all of the airline companies so I think that is the least risky way to play the airline industry if you want to do that um, so that's what I got guys I, I, I like American Airlines and United Airlines the most but I think this whole industry looks very good going forward for 2021 okay uh, that's all I've got for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button Hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet. I do stuff just like this all the time. Go check out my channel. I've got lots of stocks that I talk about. I analyze the charts and I provide uh, my analysis. You know, if 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 I'm going to be buying that stock or not uh, going forward based on mostly technicals. I get into the fundamentals a little bit, not too much though. Uh, okay, so and if you want to see my trades in real time, my buys, my sells, uh, what I'm looking at before I consider investing. You consider hitting that join button, become a channel member, um, and you will see uh, my uh, thoughts in near real time in YouTube community posts. I will let you guys know when I'm buying and selling and uh, if I'm looking into researching particular companies. Okay, that's what I got, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.